Today I'll show you the easiest way to install WordPress in cPanel. And don't miss the bonus section at the end of this video. Now the first step is to log into your cPanel account. And there are three ways to do it. First, you can log into your hosting account and access it from there. Second, if you have your cPanel credentials, you can directly access it by adding this code to your URL to open the cPanel login dashboard. Third, you can just look for an email that you received from your hosting provider when you bought it because they usually provide a redirect link to the cPanel account with the credentials. My site is hosted on Bluehost, so I'll log into my account and click on advanced settings on the left. This will automatically redirect me to the cPanel interface, which will look like this. To install WordPress, I'll scroll down till I find this option. Let's hit install. I'll make sure the website starts with the latest HTTPS protocol and select my domain name here. I'll leave this directory box blank. Here, the latest version of WordPress is chosen by default for installation. I'll copy and save my credentials and hit install. This might take some time, so editor, put a transition. And it's done. Now, I'll visit my website. And yes, the default WordPress theme is here. Now, I can access my WordPress dashboard through this link or by adding slash WP admin to the URL. Now, it's time for bonus. Any WordPress website has these essential needs to function properly, for which everyone needs to get the basic essential plugins. I'll share the best free options for each requirement now and I'll also add links for all the plugins I talk about below. A website speed plugin is crucial because inevitably your site will slow down over time. Airlift is the best free option because it's not complicated. You just have to go here, enter my website URL and click continue. Airlift will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Then we need backups because there are many reasons why your site can lose data or get deleted. You might see that your web host offers backups like Bluehost offers here, but these are very unreliable. For a free option, Avdra Plus is a solid choice. It's user-friendly and offers scheduled backups, so you don't have to remember to do it manually. However, a backup is only good if when in trouble, you can use it to restore your site. Avdra Plus backups often only partly restores your website, or sometimes not at all. So there is that risk if you go with a free option. To get a 100% guarantee that your full site will be restored anytime from its backups, you should use a paid plugin Blog Vault. Because it gives unlimited storage and makes multiple copies of your backups to make sure you always get a full restore. Moving on to security, the most popular ones are iThemes and Sukuri, but both have flaws. Malcare is the best free option because it offers many premium features for no cost. If you ever get hacked, you can pay to upgrade your plan and you'll get one-click malware removal and enhanced security. Next, let's talk about SEO. RankMath's free version is great for beginners. It guides you through the process of optimizing your site for SEO and also has an AI content assistant that gives you real-time suggestions to improve your content's SEO. Once you're ready to pay for more features, try Ahrefs. We use it as well and it's got many powerful features. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.